Hi guys, so for this video I'll be using yarn in two different colors. The yarn is in size 4 and the crochet hook is in size 5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I will chain 8. Now on the last chain from the hook I will make a slip stitch. Now I will chain 6, then through that loop I will make 1 double crochet, chain 3, then through that same loop I will make 1 double crochet, chain 3, then through that same loop I will make 1 double crochet, chain 3, then through that same loop I will make 1 double crochet chain 3, through that same loop I'll make 1 double crochet, chain 3, through that same loop I'll make 1 double crochet, chain 3, through that same loop I'll make 1 double crochet. So now I have 7 3 chain loops and to finish row 1 I'll chain 3 and right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. Now I'll use yarn in the second color. Now right here through this first three chain loop I'll insert my hook, then I insert my hook through the slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain three, then through that same three chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Chain three, then through that same loop I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain three. Through this next three chain loop I'll make three double crochet. So now we're forming the points for the square. I'll chain three. Then through this next three chain loop I'll make two double crochet cluster. chain 3, through that same 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet cluster, chain 3, through this next 3 chain loop I'll make 3 double crochet, chain 3, through this next 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet cluster, chain 3, through that same 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet cluster, chain 3, through this next 3 chain loop I'll make 3 double crochet, chain 3, through this next 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet cluster, chain 3, through that same 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet cluster, chain 3, through this next 3 chain loop I'll make 3 double crochet. Now to finish row 2 I will chain 3, then through this first double crochet cluster I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 2. Now for row 3, through this next 3 chain loop I'll make a slip stitch, chain 3, then through the same 3 chain loop I'll make 1 double crochet, chain 3, through that same 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet cluster, chain 3, through this next 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet, Then through these next three double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Through this next three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain three. Through this next three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet cluster. 
chain 3 through that same 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet cluster chain 3 through this next 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet through this next 3 chains I'll make 1 double crochet through each chain Through this next three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain three. Through this next three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain three. Through that same three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain three. Through this next three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Through these next three double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Through this next three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain three. Then through this next three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet cluster. Chain three. Through that same 3 chain loop, I'll make 2 double crochet cluster. Chain 3. Through that next 3 chain loop, I'll make 2 double crochet. Through these next 3 chains, I'll make 1 double crochet through each chain. Through this next 3 chain loop, I'll make 2 double crochet. And now to finish row 3, I'll chain 3, then through this first double crochet cluster, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 3. Now for row 4, right here through this next 3 chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch, I'll chain 3, then through the same 3 chain loop, I'll make 1 double crochet. Chain 3, through that same 3 chain loop, I'll make 2 double crochet cluster. Chain 3, through this next 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet. Through this next 7 double crochet chains I'll make 1 double crochet through each chain. Through this next 3 chain loop, I'll make 2 double crochet. Chain 3. Then right here through this next 3 chain loop, I'll make 2 double crochet cluster. Now I'll chain 3. Then through the same 3 chain loop, I'll make 2 double crochet cluster. Chain 3. Through this next 3 chain loop, I'll make 2 double crochet. Through this next 7 chains, I'll make 1 double crochet through each chain. Through this next 3 chain loop, I'll make 2 double crochet. Chain 3. Now through this next 3 chain loop, I'll make 2 double crochet cluster. Chain 2. So we repeat this throughout row 4. And then we go on and we make another square. In my case, I've already finished 2 corners and I already started the third one. So here I've chained two, and right here through this uh, second square, through that three chain loop, through that first corner, I will insert my hook through that three chain loop, then I insert my hook through my current work, chain one, then I'll make two double crochet cluster through that same three chain loop.
And now again I'll chain two. Then through this uh, three chain loop from our second square, I'll insert my hook, then I'll insert my hook to my current work and pull through. Now chain one, then right there through that two chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Then I insert my hook through this first double crochet chain through my second square. Then I insert my hook through the loop of my current work and pull through. Through that same three chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Again, through this uh, next chain of our second corner, I insert my hook. Then I insert my hook through my current work and pull through. Through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Then I insert my hook through this uh, double crochet chain of my second square. Then I insert the hook through the loop of my current work and pull through. Through the next chain I'll make one double crochet. I insert my hook through the next double crochet chain of my second square. Then I insert my hook through the loop of my current work and pull through. Through the next chain I'll make one double crochet. Then I insert my hook through this double crochet chain of my second square. Then I insert my hook through this loop of my current work and pull through. Through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. Through this double crochet chain of my second corner I insert my hook right there through that chain. Then I insert my hook through the loop of my current work and pull through. Through this next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. I insert my hook through this double crochet chain of my second square. Then I insert my hook through this loop of my current work and pull through. Through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. I insert the hook through this next double crochet chain of our second square. Then I insert my hook through this loop of my current work and pull through. Through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. I insert the hook through this double crochet chain of my second square. Then I insert my hook through this loop of my current work and pull through. Through this three chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Then I insert the hook through this double crochet chain of my second square. I insert the hook through this loop of my current work and pull through. Through that same three chain loop I'll make one double crochet. And now I will chain two. Now right here through this three chain loop of my second square I insert my hook. Then I insert the hook through the loop of my current work and pull through. I'll chain one, then through this three chain loop of my current work I'll make two double crochet cluster. Then I'll chain two, then through this three chain loop of my second square I'll insert, I'll insert my hook, then I insert my hook through the loop of my current work and pull through. Now I'll chain one, then through that same three chain loop of my current work I'll make two double crochet cluster. Again I'll chain three, then through this next three chain loop I'll make two double crochet. Through these next seven double crochet chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Now right here through this next three chain loop I'll make two double crochet. Then I will chain three. Then to finish this row right here through this first double crochet cluster, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one. Then I'll cut this yarn. And now we just have to weave these ends in, and we'll be done. So this is how our finished square looks. I really like this square, guys. Uh, it's very simple, but it just uh, looks so nice. It can be used for a lot of crochet projects. I really, really like it. So this is all for today guys, I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching.